Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. Change conflict and change freeze are very important factors of change management process. Change conflict is something when you are basically planning a change out of the maintenance window and change freeze is something that in maybe in every organization they follow a change freeze strategy where you don't have to implement different changes of the organization in a specific period. For example, year end change. Because a lot of people, they go, though they go outside, like they go on leave, they go on vacations because end of year, like you have Christmas period, but New Year. In that basically duration, you do not want any kind of change to be implemented. Otherwise, people will not be available. They will, you will not get the right support. So it's totally depend on the organization that what kind of freeze period they want to schedule for, for a particular year. So it's totally up to them the kind of business they have. And then we also have maintenance window. So for a change where we have like big changes like infrastructure changes which will impact the whole infrastructure of the organization, those changes should have proper timings. Let's say they should be implemented only over the weekends. You cannot implement them over the weekdays or even the weekend, you cannot implement them maybe in a specific time duration. All those things can be configured. Because let's say I am a user, I am from IT and I have to create a change. I should be aware whether I, I am allowed to create a change in that duration or not. So let's say I'm, I'm selecting plant start uh, and end time and I should be aware whether I'm, select, I'm creating the right change or not. Is there any freeze period? Is there any maintenance period for that particular duration which I'm selecting for my change? How exactly that user will come to know? And that's basically configuration of maintenance and blackout schedule in ServiceNow. So what exactly we will do? So we will configure weekend patching activity. So let's say if you have any uh, bigger changes like patching activity or any infrastructure change, in that case, that you can configure. We will configure for those particular changes. Maybe let's say uh, we will talk about exchange so if we have any any change related to exchange that means email related changes cannot be done over the weekend they should have a proper maintenance period in that period only you can perform that change so let's see we will configure that first and the second task we will have configure year end freeze so let's say from 21st uh, december uh, till 31st jan or maybe 1st jan we do not want any change to be uh, implemented during that time period. If anybody selects plant start date and end time during that time, they should not be able to do that. So let's see how exactly you can configure these configurations, maintenance schedule and blackout schedule in ServiceNow instance. For both these factors we just talked about, maintenance schedule and blackout window we have different modules to configure. So if I go to change module, we have this change application. If you go a little bit bottom, we have this schedules right here. And here you will see blackout schedules and you have maintenance schedule. We will start with maintenance schedules. If I click on this, you already have three maintenance schedule, which is global infrastructure, MySQL database service, service San Diego. We will create it for email one. So what I will do, I will quickly select this new. And here I will just mention email uh, maintenance. Email maintenance. And here I can just select floating and source i will just mention maybe service or ci class let's do it for ci class and it is applied to you uh, configuration item no we want it for exchange 
So we have this exchange class. Let's say maybe we will do it for just this class, CMDB uh, CI exchange mailbox, or do I have anything for email? Let's try that email. Okay, yes, we have this for email server. So I will select this one. Uh, I don't want to keep any kind of condition because this is directly applies to this uh, maintenance and I will just click on save. And here, that's it. And I think if I go to other uh, maintenance schedule, I think let's say global infrastructure one, uh, I think here it has CI class, CI configuration item. That means any change which you are doing. That's what I think there is no condition, but that's fine. We will just go to our maintenance schedule. We will select here and then I will just mention the schedule entry. So I will just select this one. Now, emails can definitely be used even during the weekends, uh, but maybe we can still schedule something maybe um, uh, off hours and we will show it as busy. Okay, we want to show it as busy. When? We want to show it as busy, uh, not all day. We want to show it as uh, available. I think that's the thing. If I see other maintenance schedule, and if I go to global infra and if I select this weekdays one, so it is, it is definitely showing busy. Okay. So if you are doing it over the weekdays, then you are not. So you can see here, it says repeats weekly every, and that's on Saturday. So it's basically show as busy if it is not implemented on Saturday and date is selected as one, two, um, uh, one, two, one. Okay, it's the all that's the timing it has mentioned. So what I will do, I will select timing. I think timing I can select maybe um, it's US time maybe right now. So we, we can just mention um, 17 or or maybe we will do all day. All day you can definitely make it say it does not repeat. Yes, I want to repeat uh weekly and that is also saturday and sunday so i want to repeat it uh, i don't want to make this repeat until and i will just click on save and if i click on save and if i create a change let's say i will create a change for or any email server let's say same one if i select email here we got this email uh, let's see if it is the same one email dot server because that's really important to know it's basically a service but uh, I think if I select email uh, let's select check here because that class should be definitely be there so whatever selection I have done here let's go to that particular record so if I select email maintenance and I have this uh, CMDB CI email server. So if I go here, CMDB underscore server dot list. Let's see if we have any CI. Okay, so we have this CI. So I can select this one. I copy this one and I will select this one now. And uh, it says invalid. Okay, done test and I will just provide all the changes I will select here save okay and I will paste this one schedule I will select let's say uh, tomorrow uh, not tomorrow Monday we will select Monday and I will make it till Tuesday that's a change we are doing because we want to see if we are getting any kind of conflict and I'm done I can just save this if I save this Will it give me any conflict? So it says conflict detected. Okay. 
if I come here, absolutely. So we got, ah, we got it. You can see here, we got email maintenance. It says it's not in maintenance window. So you cannot select this change. You should not implement this change because it's not. Because for email, anything which is related to email server, if you are making that change, you cannot do it. And it also showing other conflicts as well. But your email is also coming. So that's how the user who is actually creating the change can definitely see that if there is any conflict. And even we have this conflict calendar here. If I click on this, it will definitely show us the conflict. So you can see we have blackout maintenance. I think it's showing for this one. And I think I can just scroll it if I think this one it is showing here. That's the window we have. If I click on as month, so it's showing about this. You can see it is for Tuesday and Wednesday and it is not available. If I basically change this and see where exactly it is available, it, it will be, it should be available only for Saturday and Sunday. That's the window we should have. And it is basically a scheduling assistant. It will tell you there's no availability for next for 90 days from Feb duration of this. Okay, there might be some other conflict as well. But overall, you can see this these type of conflicts with the help of maintenance schedule. So if you have to implement a change, any kind of change or on a particular infrastructure for a specific period over the just weekend only, then you can just use maintenance schedule. Now the next one was change freeze. When you actually do not want any kind of change to be implemented, be it anyone. So in that case, we will go to change again. And here we will go to blackout schedule. So we have this blackout schedule. I will click this one. We already have two. One is software blackout, one other is blackout schedule. And what I will do, I will click on new. And here I will just mention year and freeze and I will keep it floating and I will just maybe source service CA class or change request I think uh, it should be for every every source I would say any change request we have it should not be implemented so maybe we can select CA class and we will apply it to configuration item that means the base table we will apply it to the base table only so now here I will just click on save. We're not putting any kind of condition right now. And here I will provide the schedule entries. And that is, I will just mention year end. And here, uh, what kind of, uh, it should be time off appointment meeting. Um, ideally it should be uh, time off. Uh, and then I will just show is as uh, busy. And here, what I can do, I will select the end of end of year. So maybe from 25th, or maybe we should take it from 24th only. 24th, and we will make it 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, I will make it 0, 0. And here, I will, I think all day, let's keep it all day. That's better. So we have 24 till uh first of jan that's i'm um, just keeping till that day and it does not repeat uh yeah we don't need it to be repeat and i'm done i think you can do it for every year as well even yearly if you want repeats every year yearly type day of the year uh repeat until we don't want time off and if i save this and let's say i have a change Let's say if I can create it for year end and we have this normal change, I can select any configuration item I want. And here I will put test and I will just copy this paste here and I will select this uh, level paste paste. And I will select year end for this. Uh, let's go for it. And I will select, let's say 27. And here I will mention, let's say 28, start and end. And if I click on save, will I get that? Let's see if we have any conflict. Absolutely. 
it says inside blackout windows if i reload this so basically that's that's how you can see the conflict we have so here it shows the different types of conflicts one is maintenance window and another one is freeze one so you have it says it's not in maintenance window because it's week weekday that's the one thing but at the same time you also have it's in out blackout window because there is year end freeze so you cannot implement any change during that period so it's totally uh, not allowed to create that change so basically if you are a you are a user and you are creating this change in that case you will see the conflicts first and then you will say hey okay let's not let's not implement this change and then you will just skip it this will definitely save a lot of impact to the organizations and that's the reason service now has given this feature out of the box where you can configure these maintenance schedules all these conflicts in service now system only that is out of the box they have and you can create it it's totally configurable thanks for watching this video please like share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and have a Great day.